everyone and welcome back to my channel myself dr surbhi sahani and today i'm going to talk about one short topic from journal medicine this subject you read in third year in bds as well as in mbbs so begin with the topic that is dysphagia again as a name suggests dysphagia that means difficulty in the swallowing of food patient usually complain of sticking of food or even the obstruction of food <coughs> during the swallowing of food they might complain of sticking or obstruction so that is the main chief complaint of the patient from this term of dysphagia there are two more terms that you need to know and learn very well when there is a painful dysphagia that is known as otino dysphagia and when patient complain of the fear of the dysphagia then that is known as phago dysphagia example phago dysphagia is seen in case of tetanus rabies inferential paralysis now begin with the etiology of the dysphagia based on the etiology of the dysphagia there are different types of dysphagia for example when the etiology is depending upon the disease of the mouth and the disease of the oropharynx then it is known as oropharyngeal dysphagia when there is a disease of oesophagus then it is known as oesophageal dysphagia when there is some mechanical obstruction in the passage of food then it is known as mechanical dysphagia and when there is a weak peristalsis of oesophagus and that is the cause then it is known as motor dysphagia so there are four different types of dysphagia now begin with the causes of dysphagia there is one more syndrome that is associated with dysphagia <coughs> syndrome and dysphagia yes that syndrome is plummer vincent syndrome which is also known as peterson kelly syndrome this syndrome is associated with iron deficiency anemia spoon shaped nails glossitis dysphagia with or without splenomegaly in this syndrome due to the iron deficiency there is degeneration of the epithelium in the oesophagus and therefore we see the atrophic epithelium in oesophagus and that's why we do the barium meal examination as an investigation in this syndrome regarding the treatment the basic treatment is treat the cause that means the treatment of iron deficiency anemia along with we will do the biopsy to find out the carcinoma in situ in the oesophagus or we can do the endoscopy also as in treatment for in this syndrome begin with the causes of dysphagia first cause is the mechanical narrowing of oesophagus in that there are two main factors the first one is the intrinsic cause and second is the extrinsic cause so begin with the first part that is intrinsic cause in the category of mechanical narrowing of the oesophagus that means there is some kind of a cause which is within the oesophagus and that can lead to the condition of dysphagia and intrinsic factors include congenital atresia of oesophagus that means practically absence of a oesophagus ka along with that some inflammatory conditions are there like stomatitis glossitis pharyngitis intrinsic factors include plummer vincent syndrome as there is a pharyngeal valve and or malignant tumor of oesophagus in with the extrinsic factors and 
under the category of mechanical narrowing of oesophagus. Extrinsic factors or extrinsic causes means the causes which are present outside the oesophagus but that will definitely compressing the oesophagus. For example, there is an enlargement of the thyroid gland which might uh, compress the oesophagus. Left atrial enlargement as you can see in case of mitral stenosis, aneurysm, metropharyngeal abscess or a mass and hiatus hernia are extrinsic causes which can come under the category of mechanical narrowing of oesophagus. Begin with the motor dysphagia that means the motor causes of dysphagia that include myopathy, Misthanis gravis, systemic sclerosis, motor neuron disease, diffuse oesophageal spasm, poliomyelitis. That's all about the causes of dysphagia. Begin with the clinical feature regarding the condition dysphagia. When the patient complained of dysphagia to solids, then it is mechanical dysphagia. Probably this is the cause. If patient complained of dysphagia to solids and liquids both, then it is motor dysphagia. When patient complained of transient dysphagia but quite painful, then it is inflammatory conditions might be the causes like glossitis, stomatitis, pharyngitis, when there is a weight loss along with dysphagia, then malignancy is the main cause. Dysphagia with nasal regurgitation, then the ninth and the tenth cranial nerve palsy is the main cause. Goodness of voice along with dysphagia, then the retropharyngeal nerve palsy is the main cause. So that's all regarding the clinical feature of dysphagia. Let's come on to the investigation of dysphagia. In case of investigation, the first investigation is complete hemogram to find out the hemoglobin and to detect whether anemia is there or not. Second, complete chest x-ray to find out whether there is any pneumonic condition or tuberculosis or any kind of an enlargement. In the third one is the endoscopy of oesophagus to find out the lesion if it is present within the oesophagus. Fourth investigation is the barium meal examination. Oesophageal manometry to find out the location of the lesion. Begin with the last part of this topic that is the treatment. Usually whatever the causes I have told you previously treat that particular cause is the main treatment for dysphagia. Other than that the second treatment is take soft diet, small soft diet and at smaller interval of time, that means chote chote time period pe aapko soft diet leni hai. Just like we used to give soft diet to a newborn baby who does not have teeth. Similarly, in the similar way you have to take that particular diet. Avoid caffeine, nicotine and alcohol and avoid hard food to swallow. So that's all about the topic dysphagia. This topic is definitely important. A 5 mark short note may come in your theory exam. If you like this video, press the like button and comment down. Do share my video and if you are new on my channel, do subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. If you still have any query, you can drop me a mail which is shown on your screen. Thank you for watching.